Warren Buffett is one of the largest uh, contributors to your foundation. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with him. It's almost 25 years uh, since the, uh, the pledge of giving pledge that you both took. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I've been friends uh, with Warren uh, for a long time, uh, over 30 years. And we really never had much overlap in our businesses. He's an investor, I'm a, a technologist. But we, we had a very similar view of the world. We loved talking to each other. I you know, talked to Warren many times uh, a month uh, you know, about all the different things going on. Um, and he did uh, decide at one point, although it was a complete surprise to me, uh, to funnel some of his generosity uh, through the Gates Foundation. So that's allowed us to be even more ambitious. Uh, but our friendship is basically independent of that. Do you talk about India at all? You know, he um, has one of his great people, Ashit Jain. Uh, he gives full credit uh, for a lot of the success of, of Berkshire. And so I've gotten to be friends with the Ajit as well, who's just an amazing person. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Warren hasn't been to India a lot. Uh, and so he wouldn't claim, you know, any any deep knowledge. Uh, but as we talk about good things going on in the world, the the growth of the Indian economy is is definitely a real positive. Uh, what are the plans ahead for the foundation? Uh, the long term plans uh, regarding India. Well, we're we do more in India than any country in the world. Uh, we're proving out here in India things like. Uh, how do we finally solve malnutrition? Uh, we do some work in uh, uh, agriculture. We do some work in sanitation. We're uh, pretty broad here, and we, we feel great about the partnerships we have. Um, and so uh, it's, you know, we have very ambitious goals that will benefit not only India, but the entire world. Uh, and finally, last question, how is your work with the Gates Foundation influenced your perspective about global health and development? Well, in the year 2000, you know, I was just a student and I was amazed that the needs of the poorest were so um, ignored. You know, diseases like malaria or conditions like malnutrition were just so underinvested in. And, um, you know, the market doesn't drive dollars towards those problems because they're the problems of the poorest. And so, you know, I, I was glad that I found uh, philanthropic causes where I could take my skill of organizing scientists and making big bets and building partnerships uh, and have impact. Um, and it's, you know, worked out better than I ever expected it would. The, year, the world, uh, up until the pandemic, the greatest improvement in human health actually came from uh, the year 2000 to the start of the pandemic. And, you know, uh, our foundation and, and partners uh, participated in something that, that went incredibly well. Now, since the pandemic, you know, things are off track. We have a lot of instability in the world. So we, we need to work hard to get back on that, uh, the rate of improvement that we had since the turn of the century. Thank you.